The average daily temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit for a city as a function of month of the year M can be modeled by the equation graphed below, where M equals zero represents January 1st, M equals one represents February 1st, and M equals two represents March 1st, and so on. If the equation is kabam, what are the values of A and k. All right, well, let's start with k because that's going to be the easiest. Uh, this k value on the end is always going to be the vertical shift. Um, also known as the midline. So where's the midline of this graph? Let's see, I am estimating, but it's this graph seems to hit a low of 40 and a high of 80. So that puts the midline here at 60. Because from 60, we go up 20 and down 20. So if the midline is 60, then that means that uh, K is 60. Let me just write that down. So k is 60. Okay, um, now we need the a value. Well, the a value tells you the amplitude. And really, I just mentioned the amplitude just now, because the amplitude is how far you go above or below the midline. So remember when I said from 60 you go up 20 and you go down 20. Well guess what? That's the amplitude. The amplitude is 20. So that means A would have to be 20. Um, now it's possible that it could be negative 20. So let me think about that for a second. Yeah, so cosine, a normal cosine function works like this. Okay, so let's see, it's, how far is it shifted? It's shifted just one unit to the left. So uh, I'm looking at the phase shift here. It's only shifted over a teeny tiny bit, like one month shift. So this is very close to starting right from the beginning of a period. Um, so that's important because cosine, we memorized a long time ago that uh, the parent function for cosine starts off at its highest point and then it drops below the midline and then it rises back again to its highest point. This is what y equals cosine x looks like. Uh, so if you had a graph that is upside down, okay, imagine that you have a graph that instead of starting high and going low. Imagine that it starts low and goes high. Well, that would be a reflection over the x-axis. So this would be the graph y equals negative cosine x. So do you see how this graph looks a little bit more like that? All right, it's, it's, uh, it starts low and then goes high. So that tells us that um, we're looking at a reflection over the x-axis, so uh, maybe we'll consider this to be a negative 20. Uh, so let's go with this and see what we have. Uh, a equals negative 20, k equals 60. Let's see what the choices are. Okay, a equals negative 20, k equals 60. So that's the answer right there. Nice.